Nancy Tassik. She's written a book called Milk and Cookies. Boy, off the air, we had a fabulous conversation. And again, I can't wait to introduce you to her. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Thanks for joining us. I'm fine. Thank you for having me. So milk and cookies, let's dive into this whole writing process. It's always so fascinating to so many of us when somebody becomes an author. What made you decide to do it? What was it like writing that book? I enjoyed writing the book. And how I got started was I became a cafeteria monitor at a Prokeo school. And I wore earrings and pins and uh, a table of girls said to me, what's your story? And I go, what are you talking about? I don't have a story. Well, your pins and earrings. And I said, well, I had a baby pin on and fairy earrings. And I said, these poor little babies had no one to take care of them. So the fairies raised them and that's the end. And they loved it. And they said, we want a story every day. So I went home and wrote a story every day. I love it. So you became you became like the storyteller for this table of kids that just prompted that out of you. They pulled that out of you. How cool is that? And as you said, your earrings were fairies and you talked about the pins. And then that probably developed your what I call chops for coming up with these characters, right? Yeah. I would also go on the computer and pick pictures out and save them. So between the pictures and my pins and earrings, I wrote these stories. Wow. And obviously, Milk and Cookies, they're children's books. Anyone can read them, but really ages 3 to 12. And you have a knack for the stories. It was pulled out of you. You decide to write the book. And then you come up with these characters. And there's, in the book, you talk about peekaboos. So tell us about the special character of peekaboos. Peekaboos, first of all, they're born by going over a rainbow. Mm. The colors they just form. But they are a loving character. And they help children with problems and they teach the children to handle their problems and morals and values. And the children love them. And they can pop up anywhere in a story and they can actually become any form. Oh, I like that. What a great way to have the kids relate and understand. And that was good on your part by planting those throughout that. We're talking with Nancy Tassik, and the book is called Milk and Cookies. We're talking about peekaboos, these special characters that can pop up anywhere in the book and what they can reveal to kids. And we know that that age is so important, 3 to 12. So was the idea, as you said, to help find a solution to any problem they could face to make them be able to understand that? Yeah. And when you put them together and you put, you know, they have to go over the rainbow and all that kind of stuff, and your books, by the way, being about morals and values, is it even the simplest things like teaching kids manners, like saying thank you? I've noticed that that's kind of left our culture somewhat. Yes. It teaches the children thank you when given something and please when asking for something and to respect and appreciate what is given them in all aspects of life. And specifically when we look at milk and cookies, tell us about the people in milk and cookies. Henry is a special person. He lives with his mama, as I call her, and she measures out every cookie to match his milk. And that's the highlight of his day after every meal, even breakfast. Mm -hmm. But he wants the children to come and play with him, but they're scared of him because he's, he's a special person. But his mama tells him to never give up. And then one day it happens, he's making mazes in the grass, and there's rainbows going all through the grass, and those rainbows... And Henry does, Henry does not realize it, are the peekaboos helping him and just making him shine. And the mazes get the children's attention so they're not so afraid of him. And they start coming around. Wow. How did you come up with that storyline? What a brilliant storyline. The mazes. Um, we went back to the peekaboos because then that helps you understand 
did you it was it in your mind and you would sit down and kind of write things out how'd you come up with that storyline I think I have to give God the credit. <laughs> so I'm, I'm listening. So I give him the credit for putting this in my mind. And I can I can go to uh, bed at night and lay there, and my mind just starts to roll. And one thing I'm very lucky about is my husband, Tim, is my illustrator. And once in a while, he might pop something in my head, too, and then I'll take it from there. How fun, the collaboration. Is it fun to collaborate with your husband? Uh, it's, it's actually wonderful. We're just, we're just a great couple. I like that. Ooh, we're just a great couple. So he has to be as excited as you are when you finish a book and like milk and cookies and you actually get the book and, you, and you've got it in your, your hand. What's that feeling like? Oh, my word. It, it's, to me, it's like a miracle that I became a publisher I mean, I am so excited and thrilled with this and to think this really happened to me. So dreams really do come true. And when I, I've had like a couple book signings and I write down dreams do come true. Boy, that is um, a powerful to, to illustrate that to kids and to certainly to other people. What, we know that... You know, your husband, Tim, we know that he is excited about the book and you're collaborating. But what about other people in in your life? When you tell them, Nancy, that you've done another book and you've got these ideas, what do they say? Uh, They're excited for me. And they've bought it and um, they just think it's a really great book. And, you know, because it deals with death. And uh, it's just a great way to... uh, to speak about the death of uh, the loss of someone because Henry of course loses his mother mm. the peekaboos and the children come into play and they help him through that and people are very excited about my book and loss is tough it's tough for adults and I think it's something that we don't uh, deal with enough in our culture so if children learn these things younger then they're more equipped to deal with it as they move through their life is that kind of what you think yeah and uh you know there's more on the other side we just don't really all know what's there yet because we're not there yet (laughs) yeah yeah oh how cool i I, the whole theme of it is wonderful nancy tasik joins us and of course the book is go pick it up milk and cookies you can get it amazon etc wherever great books are sold and in, in writing, in the process of writing and saying that you've got other stories in your head, I can imagine you've got something else cooking. What what can we expect next from you, Nancy? Uh, my next book is, I had called it The Tree with the Whispering Branches, but we've named it Peekaboo's Whisper Again. Ooh. A boy in a treehouse. And one of the lines in it is the dad asks, his son, what are you going to name your dog? Because they got him and his mother, uh, the parents got the boy a dog. And the dad says, what are you going to name your dog, Tommy? And Tommy says, real, Dad. And his dad looks at the mother and kind of like, what? You know, but he lets it go. So while they're building the ladder towards the end of the book, the dad says to his son, I have a question, son. And he goes, yeah, Dad? Why'd you name your dog real? Oh, Dad, that's easy. I never thought you and Mom would buy me a dog. And I named him real. He's real. (laughs) That's that's so, so clever. When you come up with these ideas and you sit and we talked about this at the very beginning, writing the book, how long did it take you if we go way back to the beginning and the cafeteria and the stories and being the story person? How long did it take you to write your first book? Wow, it took me, boy, I'm going back way. It's probably taken me about 16, 17 years to actually sit down and finish it. And, I, you know, I never thought I'd get published. So that's where, you know, dreams really come true. And uh, so it took me a while. And, you know, I'm kind of on a roll now because I find it really exciting. 
Yeah, no kidding. You are on a roll, and we can tell. And so I'm inviting everyone to go check out Nancy Tassick and pick up the new book, Milk and Cookies, and we look forward to other stories from you. Nancy, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm back to screeching, okay, with this With my convictions, my learned